This is my sister. Hello. And today we're going to be building a computer together. Isn't that, isn't that cool? It's pretty exciting. It's my first time. She's what you would call a noob. So Completely. I guess I'm going to be guiding her. She doesn't even know what these components are. Do you know yeah. any of this stuff? Nothing. Is? Not a clue. This is, yeah, she's a, she's a noob. So I guess the place to start with would just be to uh, show you what all the components do. Okay. All right. So starting with this component right here, this is what we call the motherboard. Okay. Uh, basically the way I view it is this is kind of like the spinal cord of the computer it connects all the components you know together into one little whatever you call this okay makes sense and basically vital and part yeah this is like this is a pretty important component um this is also a very important component this is what we call the cpu wow smaller than i would have expected okay this is basically the brains of the computer wow okay it's pretty small for a brain but i promise you it's it's powerful yeah for a computer um this is the cooler for the brain okay this is what you put on top of here it's a tower cooler and it kind of just keeps it cool you know right if that's the cooler then what is this oh this is a gpu this is what i would call the muscle of the computer okay. this is what like lets you do gaming basically mm. they, the cpu and gpu work in tandem but it's kind of like a, a group effort sort of thing gotcha but as for these components this is our storage wow okay yeah it's like a gum stick isn't it yeah basically this is what i call the long-term memory of the computer this is what like you hold forever basically and then this is the ram wow I don't know. I've never seen RAM ever. Well, this is what I call the short-term memory of the computer. So basically anything that it needs to remember temporarily. I have no idea what anything is at all. Well, you're going to learn today. Yeah. Basically, these components are important for storing information. This is like your files and all that. You know what I mean? Like you're saving documents or videos or pictures. This is more like, let's say you load an image on a web browser. That image is stored on RAM, not your storage. It's like okay. a, it's, it's loaded into your RAM. And then once you turn off your computer and turn it back on, your RAM is cleared and it's new okay that's why it's called short-term memory oh okay makes sense yeah this right here is the heart of okay. the computer uh, as you can see this is a big bigger component right. it basically just regulates the power throughout the system and this is these are the veins hmm. these connect to all of those all those little ports you see how they kind of connect to each other they all have different shapes on them that lets them connect to the proper ports i have a stupid question can a computer actually work if you don't put install these do you think okay which, which one are you doing like ram like both without any type of well, it, it won't, memory. Okay, no, probably not. I mean, there's probably some computers where it might work. There's some computers where it has like uh, integrated RAM that's okay. soldered at one. But in this case, on custom built computers, yeah, it wouldn't. It wouldn't even post. You would. You would need. You need RAM for it to function. Would it turn on? It would. It would power on yeah. and the fans would spin, but you wouldn't get any video out or anything. So interesting. Yeah, I don't know why I'm holding it like this. I'm just. <laughs> I'm just the just, heart. Does that make sense to you? It does absolutely. It's and then obviously the case is right. like the body. Yeah. Everything goes into it you install it and yeah it, it's kind of like the it's called the enclosure or is the chassis empty? yeah this is just a, this is an anti-stack bag it's for like preventing static from getting inside oh. yeah a static I bad for a computer yeah well yeah. nowadays they're more resistant to it but like back in the day if you you know rubbed your feet on some carpet and then touch a computer it would have like some stack build up and it would shock everything and kill everything oh so interesting. It, it can still happen but it's not as likely but it's better safe than sorry but yeah basically these all come together to be a computer computer and i'm missing a cmos battery i need to grab one of those but that's not a big deal for now the cmos battery is basically for um keeping track of your bio settings and time and dates and all that but i had to go grab one from the house so do you want to start building are you ready i'm ready so if you, you can sit down if you want be a little more mm, comfortable okay. it's a it's a lot it's not like a long process but since it's your first time it might take some time don't knock over my thing now all right so a lot of people like to do it like this where they'll have the motherboard on top of the motherboard box okay so it doesn't you know have any weird stuff happening i don't know it, it's, it's a good idea because you have more space or yeah. elevation yeah okay so the first thing i always start with is the cpu okay now how do you guess you install the cpu where would you guess Ooh. it goes to i would guess since it's a, the size of a stick of gum maybe here oh no this i'm talking about the oh, cpu oh sorry <laughs> well see i i don't know we're already starting at a at a good point here here okay so how would you guess you open up that that little socket uh the little metal thing all right, go ahead and pull it out and see if you can open out it up. Out or up? Well, you push down and pull towards you, basically. Like that? Mm-hmm, and pull it towards you and then pull it up. Oh, yep. 
I think what if you, I broke it? You didn't break okay. it. <laughs> you didn't break it. Now, this is very delicate. Okay. This is like the, the pins on this. You see that? Yeah. These are all golden pins. So they ha they're very easy to bend. So I will open this for you real quick just to be safe. You don't trust me? Yeah, I'm going to have you go ahead and try to install the CPU. It should just like you, you just kind of hovered over the, the slot. Okay. And it should kind of just drop in there. Don't like push down on it at all. Okay. I've seen people drop like push it in there before and it was very bad. All right. It's not Just in set there. Set it on top? Does it need to click? No. Oh, oh. oh, there you go. Is that it? Yep. Now and you push it down. down. Yep. Oh, it's super easy. Wow. I could do this. Yeah. <laughs> this isn't difficult. Yeah. Now, I would start next with the RAM. So, RAM has these little tabs you have to push down. Some other boards have them on both sides. This one just has it on the top. Okay. You want to put... So, since you have two RAM sticks, you want to put it in these two slots. Closest together? No. Like, you see how you skip one, go, skip one, oh. go. So, go ahead and push those down real quick. This? Yep. Well, not that one. The uh, one next to that. The one next to it. Yep. What do you mean? Push it down. Yep. It's not going down. It will. <laughs> just push it. Just push it. It feels so fragile, Brand. It's okay. It's not going. Oh, down, back. I'm pushing it down. <laughs> oh, okay, and then this okay. one, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So now, now that we have that, the RAM is right here. So basically the way that I line up this up, the way I remember it, there's a shorter side. You see how that one's longer? That one's shorter? Yeah, barely, but yeah. So basically you want to put the shorter one on the bottom. Does it click in or just fall in? So it does click in. You're, not, you're gonna see in a second. Push yep. it down? Yep, both sides. Don't be afraid to use some pressure. Okay. Hmm. Oh, no. oh, <laughs> yay. And then make sure that both sides are clicked down. And yep. then yep, click they're good. It clicks back. Yep. Down. yep. Good job. Now you got to do one more shorter side on the back. Yep. It should be pretty easy. Yep. Wow. You're a natural. I've seen people break uh, RAM before like in half. Well, how often do you it. break things by accident? Every now and then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but once everything comes together, you're gonna see how everything just kind of, you know, works together. It's Close. gonna be cool. Yeah. All right. Now, what I usually do is the SSD. Now, okay, you see that screw right there? We're gonna get that out real quick. Okay. This is the gum stick you were talking about. Now, you see how this is where you install it? You see how there's a, a gap and see how it correlates to the pins? Mm, yeah, right here? Yep. You just install it like that. Now, this is a little different. You're gonna install it at an angle. You get what this I'm saying? Way up, though? So basically, like this. Oh, okay. Oh. I, I don't drop it down like that, but okay. you, you understand what I'm saying, right? Kind of. I just don't want to put too much pressure. It's okay. Like this? Yep. It should snap into place. Hold up. Let me try. Oh, yep. You got, you got it. You got it. You don't need any help. Okay. Good job. <laughs> and then the screw. Screw yes. it back down. Now the screw, you know what to do with that. Mm -hmm. So you're going to want to push it down. Stop, stop. Oh, no, no. Don't do that. <laughs> and just tighten it regular. Yep. Until it stops. I think it's, I think it's done. Oh. Good job. Good to go. <laughs> I uh, went and got a CMOS battery for you to install. Okay. So basically, I already showed you where it went, right? Like, you know where it goes. It just goes right in here. Yeah, you kind of just push it down until okay. it snaps into place. Oh my God. Oh, oh, you <laughs> broke it. No, Is that good? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's good. In? There you go. Now comes the case. You ready? Oh, actually, no, I lied. CP oh. cooler. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm messing up now. I'm, I'm nervous right this now. Thing. I'm scared you're going to break everything. Here, you want to you wanna do an unboxing? Sure. I'm honored. ASMR unboxing. <laughs> oh. We need this? No, nah, who cares about that? Does it just come out? You just kind of like tilt it over and it'll all come spilling out on top of the computer. There you go. Oh, oh. Oh, this is wow. pretty intricate. Yeah. It's overwhelming. A little bit. You don't yeah. need to use all of this. Okay. It's for different, uh, there's different like types of mounting brackets that you need for different systems. And that's the fan. Do I need to remove this? Not, not yet. Okay. Not yet. So you're going to use this screwdriver okay. to remove these metal or not metal uh black plastic brackets lefty lucy yeah yeah you one. got it okay <laughs> i guess there's all, all kinds of different things that you can do with computers and it all needs to be built particular ways right i mean honestly computers are meant to be like very uh what's the word they're multi-use like okay. can, one computer a computer can do many many things so it just depends on your your use case i guess i'm just looking at all these things and it's like i don't know it's a lot it's a lot like when you're first time but once you get the hang of it it's kind of just like you know like in the back of your hand now this is where we do the mounting bracket options uh, basically you want to say get out of here this little packet is the thermal paste don't worry about that right now and these clips if i can get these out this is for the fan okay. we, don't, we don't need that yet now what we're going to do you're going to use these right here okay and you're just going to place the red orange whatever kind of color they are on top of these and then put the screws in or no yeah 
Now, this is, these are the um, brackets you need to screw down. So basically, it would go in this direction. Okay. So you wanna, I'll, I'll, I'll help you out, okay? Okay. There you go. And just screw down. Oh, oh, oh! oh. <laughs> There you go. Got he. Never do that ever again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing great. You're gonna put me out of business. I could. We uh. are genetically related. I might be actually good at this. I thought I was adopted. Now it's time to get the cooler actually on there. So this is where you're gonna, actually wait, wait. Before you do that, you're gonna want to apply the thermal paste. Okay, oh. to this on top? Yeah, a big old turd. Put it all on there? Yep. Yeah, that's basically what it does. More? As much, I mean, the whole packet, basically. Might as well. Some people are very pedantic about the thermal paste uh, pattern that you use. Really? Yes. Do I spread that with my finger? Okay, thermal paste, for some reason, is, is like everyone has a different opinion about it. Okay. Some people say you want to spread it. Some people say you don't. In this case, this is fine. This this nice little, uh, whatever the hell this is, I don't know what that is. Turd nugget? There, yeah, sure. I guess at this point, you're going to want to peel this. Wow. So you see how, how it goes down on these screws? Yes. You can see how that's like a- Open screw yep. type of thing. And you just want to line them up real quick. So okay. screw it in? Yep, just go, uh, what I do is I evenly do it like four or five times and then go to the other side four oh, or five times. Shoot. And what that does is kind of evenly spreads the thermal paste, you know, throughout mm. the, the IHS. What does the screw do? I mean, the spring. Well, it's just, it's just for pressure. Okay. It, it, it increases the pressure a lot and pressure is important for uh, CPU coolers because you need good contact with the, the CPU. Good job. Thank you. Okay, oh wait, forgot. You have to put the fan on. Okay. I'll do it for you, it's annoying. I'm not gonna make you go through this. So these are two cables, one of them is for the fan speed. This is like the fit controlling the fan speed and uh, voltage. And this is for the RGB control. Mm. And basically what these little clips do, it's very rudimentary. It's not really complex. Mm -hmm. It kind of just hooks on like that. Okay. And yeah, it's very simple, but it can be very annoying for some people. It kind of just like latches onto the fins. Oh, like, Does it, do they ever fall off? I mean, hopefully not, but yeah, that's how you do it. Awesome. Now it's time for the case. So now you just open this up. You just Yep, you stab it. Good, good. Ugh. Oh, all right. Now just, just unbox it. Yeah, just very get it gently out. or not really. Um, be gentle because I have to shit the box when I sell the computer. Oh my god, don't let it fall. It's okay. It's fine. Wow. Wow. And oh, hold up. I'm so excited. I to know do you're, it. Just, you're so ready. All right, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna lay it flat down. Actually, this way? you want to remove these panels first. So these are thumb screws. You should be able to. Yeah, just unscrew them. You want to take this panel out, you kind of just slide it off that way. Like that? No, 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 no. You slide it. Oh. Yeah. And then the same idea for this. Yep. Yeah, basically this is just the IO shield. It's a thin little piece of metal and it kind of just, if you look on here, it lines up. Oh, okay, I see. And it's like a little... It's like a vent cover, kind of. If you want to try it yourself, you can. It's a little tedious sometimes. You just kind of put it into the chassis. All right, so you just kind of try and push each corner until it pops into place. Try not to bend it. Sometimes they do, because they're thin metal. It should kind of like pop into place. Looks like it's in. No. No. I'm gonna show you how it's done. Okay. Oh, okay, I see. Now, you're gonna want to lift it up from the CPU cooler. Yep, and you can just kind of drop it in. Make sure there's no wires in, uh, in the way of the bracket. And line it up. It's nowhere near the back. I know, I can't see. Move your finger like that? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, you just you, you want to go to the back flat. Oh, oh, it. okay. And it'll line up the I.O. like that. That's perfect. Yeah. I did it. Yeah, you, you, you did it. I didn't do anything. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you want to hold this? Open it real quick. Okay, that is a motherboard speaker. It basically, like, if you plug into your motherboard and it beeps, it would give you beep codes for problems. It's handy if your motherboard doesn't have any LEDs or anything. So you have LEDs that tell you what the yes, problem is? Yes, there's error codes and stuff. Wow. Yeah, very cool. Wow, that's I crazy. Know. Okay, so the ones you want to use for the motherboard are these. These right here. So you see where you screw them in at, right? Right. Like right there? Yes. And in the middle right there. Okay. Yep. So you just kind of go straight in. And like just that. immediately go. And yep. Then you just screw it like that. I gotcha. Beautiful. Wow. We're good. Are we done? No. Okay. So basically what we do now, we're going to install that power supply. This is the heart, as I said before. And the way you install it is fan down. All right. Just going to put it down in this little area right here. Not like that. You're going to have to be more specific. Here, here put it, just lay it over. Oh, like this? No. Like this? No. <laughs> Literally like this. Inside the computer? Yes. Oh, okay. Slide it in. Yeah, you got it. You got it. Just slide it in. Yep. You're going to want to do these right here. These. Four of these, yes. 
Now, this is where the cable extensions come in. This, these aren't necessary at all. Okay. It's just for show. Think of it as like hair extensions. All right, so basically what you're gonna do, you're gonna line these up. Like this or like this? Okay, so you see the tab? Okay, so basically you just line up the tab. This is the wrong side. So flip it over. You see this, looks like a little nub on the, the extension. Push it harder? Yeah, until it snaps into place. There we go. So you got it. There you go. Perfect. There you go. I'm just gonna get this wherever we need it to be because uh, you kind of just have to know where it goes. I can't just tell you. So I did a little bit off camera for her. I basically just got the small cables plugged in. So you're gonna start with this 24 pin power mm -hmm. cable right here. It goes straight into there. Does it click? It, it kind of clicks. There we go. You got it's it? In. Yep. Good, good. Okay. Um, now, this is a hard one to do. It's this like CPU on the top left. And you have to kind of angle it a certain way to get it in there. Are you sure you can You can do that? I can try. Okay, got it. Got it. You got, already? Mm-hmm. Bro, it takes a long time usually. All right, now, this is the exciting part. Okay. This is really exciting. This is the GPU. You see that those golden pins right there? Mm-hmm. You're going to line them up with this slot right here. Oh, no, this is kind of in the way. Okay, you're, you're going to want to, yep, you're doing it? Mm, not yet, hold on. It's okay. Just keep going until you figure it out. It's okay. not too hard. Am I on the line? No. Look at it from this angle here. Oh, okay, I see now. Yep. And it's basically lined up now. You did it? Yeah. Wow. And you basically just use the screws that you use for the power supply for the GPU. Here you, here you go. Good job. All right, here's the final step. Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh. You broke it. Are you uh, are you are you proud of it? I am. Yeah. Does it look good? It does look good. Yeah, that was pretty cool. It's nice to have built a computer because. Why are you? <laughs> I'm talking to your subscribers. It's nice to have built a computer because I've never done it. I could say I did it now. Now you want to turn it on? Yeah, let's turn it on. It's time to turn it on. Are you ready? ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. This Been is your ready. child. You built it. Oh no! No, it's this broken. It's, no, you just got to flip the switch on the power supply. Now you're, now you're ready, right? Okay. <laughs> it's just broken. You didn't do it right. It's all your fault. Three days later. So, I have a broken CPU now. It's, it's my fault, okay? Yeah, it's not my fault at all. It's my fault because I was the one guiding her and actually like not paying attention to her building. I should have paid more attention and seen that the CPU wasn't seated correctly. But what are you gonna do? Anyways, I have swapped the CPU out and now we're gonna see if it posts. So, you ready? I'm ready. Where's the power button? I had here. To figure it out. Just press. You're not. You're not like, you need to get down lower, 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 lower. I'm playing. Just press it. Wow. wow. Hey. Wow. You did that. Are you happy? I am happy. Am Are I you happy that you absolutely had no mistakes? Yes. My sister has built a computer. Yay. Now she's, she's part of the club. High five. All right, well, with that, I guess uh, that's the video. And yeah, and enjoyed. Not broken computer. Okay, bye. Toodaloo. Thank you for watching. Wow. A big thank you to all my channel members that have decided to give me their money and support my channel. I really appreciate that. If it weren't for them, I would not be making these videos. So, uh, thank you.